And welcome back in Trepid Travelers to Civilization 6. Oh. <laughs> yes, I decided to actually do a Let's Play version of it. There's a lot around and I didn't think I would need to, but I've been playing it a ton and I just thought it'd be fun. What I am going to do to shake up my usual style of play is, of course, go for the cultural victory now. This apparently is one of the harder ones to get, and it's one of the victories I haven't got yet. I've done the military, I've done the science and that kind of stuff. And religious doesn't really, you know, <laughs> interest me too much, but I know, it just it seems like a fun thing to do with the culture and the relics and the paintings and all the great artists you're creating. And just fostering a more positive relationship with all these, you know, other civilizations. So that's totally not me. I'm an asshole in this game. So let's get into it. We're going to create a game just so we know which leader we're going to go with. Now I have beat Prince and I didn't get much of a difficult, so I'm thinking King, but it is cultural victory and that is hard, but we're going to go King anyway, just to, you know, give us a little bit of a difficulty level there. A bit of a challenge. Um, yep, standard continents. I do like continents. And let's go for a large map. So, as for the leaders, uh, it's a hard choice for which one I really do want to go for the cultural victory. They all have, like, there's quite a few there that do have, you know, some decent traits to pick up. We've got, you know, Congo and the extra great artist points that they get. And then you've got this, I know they can't build a religion themselves, but you get all like the founder's bonus of religions spread in your land. And if, you know, some of them are that sort of culturally orientated, you're going to get those bonuses and you get a lot more because of that if they spread it to you. But then that's an if. There's France with Catherine de Medici, where it's more of a, I like the Chateau district, which gives you culture, especially when it's near a wonder and plus the other benefits from it as well. Not to mention all the just the bonuses to your wonder production in the mid ages there. That's a really important facet, I think, just because so many of those mid age wonders do give a lot of sort of cultural and tourist style bonuses. I also like the extra like spy capacity just because I'm going to be going out there and stealing a few of these great works I find, probably. <laughs> I don't like other countries having them. I want them all. Then there's China and it's you know great wall mechanic like early on it's more of a defensive military style thing a little placement catchment you can build with your workers that connects together but later on it generates a true it can generate a tremendous amount of culture and tourism and then there's the way that their builders can expend on your cities as well to create wonders and that's another element that just speeds those up for me that i'm really looking for there is america for the late game now, early on, they don't have many bonuses, but late, that's where their stuff picks up. They get the whole tourist bonus from their, you know, national park system they can create. That's but well, everyone can create it, but they just get a few bonuses from it. They have the film studio as well for a lot of extra late game culture. And then there's also the, um, the culture on kills if people are on your continent as well. And I have picked the continent map, so there might be some fighting, but I'm mostly going to be trying to keep out of combat if I can this time. If we need to, if some civs are trying to pick up the victory ahead of us, I will go in there. Guns are blazing, but I'm just going to try and keep out of it for now. The other one, of course, is Brazil. And I don't know, just as a country, that seems like a fun thing to do. You've got that Carnival district that you can create, which generates a lot more culture as well. And just amenity points, which can help just that early game system too. You get a rebate on your points spent on great people, which is amazing as well. So it puts you ahead when you're trying to get the next one as well. And then there's the output to districts near rainforests. Now, if you put a theater near them, it's going to generate so much more as well, or one of their carnival districts. And that's one of those elements I was trying to speed up. And the last, of course, is Germany. Now, they don't have any specific sort of cultural tourist related elements, but it's just their ability to create extra districts early on that is kind of important. Some of these cities, you know, they might not be growing as quickly as you want and the faster they grow, the more districts. So I don't want to be just completely railroaded into creating a theater district in every single city early on. And that would give me a lot more variety there and a lot more choices and a lot more ways to progress. So 
Out of all of them though, I think I'm definitely gonna pick Catherine de Medici. De Medici. 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 Mm. I've got my finger to my mouth like that Italian phrase. Just because A, female leader, why not? But B, I do like the chateau, extra culture, all that kind of stuff. Awesome. Plus that great mid-game military unit that they have. All right, let's get into it. So we've got the king, difficulty, standard game at continents and large. From the first stirrings of life beneath water to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. It falls to you, Catherine de' Medici, to use your gifts of knowledge and of the arts to unite your people. Steer carefully through these troubled times, Queen Mother of France. It wonders, drawing visitors from all corners of the earth. With your keen awareness of all things, both those seen and those hidden in the shadows, your empire will certainly stand the test of time. And here we are. This is a nice spot for our early city. That is awesome. See, one of the things I really want with my cities is a river nearby, because then I can build that chateau upon it. You can't build it anywhere else but upon a river. And I'm going to try and chain together wonders with them if I can, you know, two cities maybe changing, you know, sharing the same wonder if I can. That sort of stuff. Okay, let's... What I was thinking is heading towards mysticism early on. Just because I really want that oracle, the extra great person points next, you know, if they're next to one of the districts, amazing. Especially with our team and with that, you know, temple district. From there, we will be moving on to hopefully drama and poetry, but I'm not sure just yet. I'm, I think I might go for, if we don't get that wonder, we might go for the political philosophy first. Just so we can put a few extra stuff in there. So yeah, let's just head towards mysticism right now. Choose a research. Hey, we wanted to choose a research. Now we don't have animals nearby, so let's go pottery for now. Yep, pottery works. Hey, 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 hey. There we go. Yeah, that gives us time to maybe get the boost from some of these if we can. So for this one, I really don't have much of a goal for the technology tree. There's really not too much I want from it. We're definitely going to be working towards horseback riding and guilds and stuff. And castles for their spies, but... And knights, because that's their... I know, which is our... I forget where her special unit is. <laughs> <laughs> probably writing as well it's good to have that early writing boost but yeah pottery for now then we can go into irrigation and stuff all right warrior let's start exploring nice good silver luxury resource and we're gonna just found it straight away we're not gonna lose any time here good we got cows as well this is a good first spot for a city all these rainforest tiles are gonna be amazing as well if we put a campus somewhere so let's grab a scout early on just so we can explore, find our next spot for our next city. Now, one of the things for a culture victory, we really have to probably build as many cities as possible. The more cities you have, the more theater districts you have, the more culture you get. So <laughs> that's going to be my game early and even late game is just building up those cities. Ooh. Right on a desert too, so we probably should be aiming for pyramids or something. Huh. Oh, it's a new continent. Okay, fair enough. Hey, 
That is a giant desert. <laughs> It'd be pretty if we chuck like a city down over here. Put the pyramids on. It'd be sweet. Just gonna skirt the border of it for now. To see where all those other rivers are. I really want the chateau bonuses I do, and that requires a river. It looks like the mountains are there. I think Paris is going to be our technology city so far. I can't pass up all that rainforest bonus from, you know, the, the science districts. It's just too good. It's too good not to do. Another river down here. That's nice. If we can as well, I really want to either do a um, a triangle shape or even a diamond shape for our four main cities. Because then we can put our wonders and our theatre districts right in the middle there and get all those bonuses really easily. That'd be sweet. Hello, Cleopatra. It's an honor to meet you. Yes, exchange information. Nice, we got the boost there. I'm going to go back to her. Yep. Yeah. So we need a decent military to not piss her off, unfortunately. I'm going to sell a delegation for now. Just so we can make peace early on. I really don't want to get into an early war. I don't this time. Alright, let's explore this river area. See where it leads, see where new cities can get founded. Um, set the 15, no, it needs to. Alright, okay, let's go for the... Builder. Early builder. Ooh, horsies. Yep, our new city is going to be on this wetland tile right here. Wetland tile. Um, I think one of those forest tiles. And then one over here on the right in the fog of war. That'll give us a nice little theatre area in the middle. So that would be one, two... Yep, that works. I'm just trying to figure out how many squares it would be. One, two, two, three. Three in between each. It's, mm, it's a long way, but we can do that. Mm, nice mountains. Potential other science district around here. Friendly village, nice. So, one where the warrior is, two in the forest, three, four next to the mountains, or up near this river. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. It's a bit of a cheat going for the large map as well, because a large map is going to allow more cities. More cities equals more culture. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's a little hard to do the culture victory on a small map. Cool, we've got two nice friendly no villages. Clay. Thanks, pottery. Choose our next one. Writing, yep, because we've got the bonus boost. Ooh. Nice, an early relic. All right, we're going to have to do probably a holy site to house that relic. Nice. That's some good early boosts. 
coastal area over here. Sweet. Let's have a look at it. Splinter of the True Cross. That's pretty cool. Created by a martyred apostle. Provides faith and tourism. Nice. Yeah, that is a great early spot on that wetlands area. We are, by the grace of God, Victoria, Queen of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland. And soon, dare I say, the Empire. The Empire. This is like the land of the lady leaders at the moment. That's where we are. I hope it is a continent of just women rulers. That'd be awesome. <laughs> It's an honor to meet you. Love to send for your hospitality. Let's send her a delegation as well. Just so we can know a little bit about her during the time, but yeah. Sun never sets, likes civilizations on her home continent. So that's us probably. That'll be good. Likes to see civilizations at war. <laughs> Fair enough. Hopefully she can get at war with Cleopatra then and not us. Oh, there's her city. Ooh, it's pretty close, actually. So we're going to found something near her early on so she doesn't come too close to us. One, two, maybe on this wetland tile. Yeah, on this wetland tile here. It's a bit of a risk early on. We might piss her off, but it's better now than later. Thank you very much. Your delegation is most welcome. See, that gives them a little bit more information about what we're doing as we do about them. Monument in London. So they're going, they've got culture as well. Right, we're going to have to get our warrior up here because that person's going to make a camp soon that's going to attack us. So let's get you back to Paris. Before we build a settler, I might even go for a slinger. Ooh, city-state. Mysticism triggered. Okay, let's have a look. Found a pantheon. That needs faith. So we, yeah, we're getting a bit of faith, so we should get that soon. Yeah, I'm going to try and build it right on that wetland tile. Because then our, another city can go up here, there, there. Yep, that works out. And she's the person that likes to be, you know, friendly with people on her continent as well, so... I think it'll be okay, it won't piss her off too much. It's not a great spot for a city though. So actually, no, I might not. We might just create it up here near the mountains. Or maybe over here in between the mountains. Yeah, and then a chateau here. Yeah, that might work. It's definitely not an optimal spot, so we'll go for our other two optimal spots first, and then we'll see what happens. So I'm just looking at irrigation. I forget what it needs. Where are you? Oh, there. Farm a farm resource. Hmm, okay. Farm a resource. We can do that. We got rice there. And then we can get irrigation for the silk. Nice. Alright, let's go for the... <sighs> no, wait for the... There's a little policy for quicker settler production, so we might wait for that and not waste too much of our production. And we'll go for the faith for the monument. You can definitely farm that resource. 
You can keep exploring. It'd be nice to have another scout, actually. Enacting new policies in our government can be a... It is not wisdom, but authority that makes a law. Yeah. Production barbarian. <laughs> That's what I always go. Ooh, lots of barbarians over there. Right. Definitely farm. Thank you. We got our boost towards the next one. Yeah, we'll keep our warrior here just because we don't know if any barbarians will come soon. Yep, yeah, most welcome. Let's not annoy the people on our continent. I wonder where Cleopatra is. Her unit was over here, so maybe down? They probably spawned her near the sand, which is, you know, to her advantage. Fast chariot units, all that kind of stuff. And we may as well build a farm now. There we go, there's our Pantheon and we'll get the trade thing for that city-state. Culture from pastures. Yes. I think that's the best for faith in culture. All right, sweet. Oh, you're a gold person. That's good. Early gold is nice. I'll probably use that to build um, a granary later on. Oh, lady, don't get mean already. You've got like two warriors. Mediocre. <laughs> That's all I think she's saying. All right, farm. And he's got one more charge left. I'm going to save that for the silk, I think. It's a nice map for stuff. Lots of rivers. That's what I wanted to see as France. All right. Yeah, let's go up and explore. Zanzibar. I've heard that name we before. Have recently gained I really advanced have. knowledge in city planning. Writing is easy. Thank you. Oh, you have. Yep. Should I skip through those? I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe you want to listen to them. All right. Yeah, because we've already boosted it. No irrigation we were getting next, weren't we? Zanzibar. Isn't that like a town they talk about in like a Tenacious D song? I think it is. Let's keep you in town for now. You go exploring the forest. You sleep. Kill him, Zanzibar. Good city state. Have a treat. <laughs> Sometimes having city states near you is actually okay because they do defend you pretty well against barbarians. Oh, tobacco. Nice.
One thing that is really cool to see as well, it's one, like the small details that matter. Like Paris, it's my little city, that's what it looks like. You know, classical era. And like London, it looks like the kind of, you know, pioneer town kind of thing too. They're building a wonder there, aren't they? Yeah, Stonehenge. No, that guy can slip away from us too easy, so we'll keep on moving. I think we'll leave this episode here for today. Our monument is nearly complete. Our Paris upgrades in three turns to a fourth population town. And after that, we're probably going to have to... I don't know, really. We're waiting for a few things to finish. We might get a slinger just for the defense and probably a settler afterwards. Or maybe a settler first. Settler first, yeah. All right, I'll see you next time.